Good morning, sweeties. Please ignore all of this mess behind me. My work table is like piled with stuff. But anyway, I thought that we would do a planner flip through today. I have changed out all of my Christmas stuff for the Planner Society constellation theme kit so I really like the way that it turned out and I thought I would share that with you today so what was I gonna tell you I don't think I was gonna tell you anything let me flip you around and here we go so as you can see I am using my Franklin Covey planner. This is the Splendor Binder in the Planner Love Collection. And you guys, look what happened to my planner. I left it sitting out one night. I forgot to put it away and I left it out on my coffee table and Mocha sat on it and scratched it. This binder is going through some tough love, so that's a thing that's happening. All right, so let's dive in. Okay, so I do have two pen loops, of course. We've gone through this. And this one, I do have my pink mild liner. And in the back one, I have one of my favorite Sharpie pens. So I'm going to tell you right now, almost all of the stuff in here is from the Planner Society kit. So you're going to hear me say it over and over and over and over. I do have some things like this that are from one of the paper pads that I have in my stash and um, do I have them right here that I can show you? So basically anything not from the Planner Society is from one of these, and these are um, this is from Michael's. I know this one is from Michael's. This is the Star Traveler paper pad. I almost think this one is from Hobby Lobby. This is the Stargazer paper pad from the Paper Studio, and then the other one is from Michael's as well. This is this is Constellations by Recollection. So anything that basically not from the Planner Society is from one of these three paper pads and I don't have a lot. So this is from that first paper pad that I showed you and it's just like one of those like washi strip papers. Um, this is the sticky notes from the Splendor collection on Franklin Planner. These are all from the Planner Society from past kits that I just leave in here. This is also from the Planner Society. This is just a bookmark or a washi card or whatever you want to use it for. This is actually from Dolls Kill, I think. Millie ordered a backpack or something. And this was the tag and I just thought it was like super cute. These are all from the Planner Society kit. Sweet Dreams from the Planner Society kit. There's another washi card. Um, 
and a journaling card from one of those paper pads. This little kitten bookmark is actually from Millie. She got it for me for Christmas. This acetate, the Planner Society. This of course is the acetate that I made. Basically it's just hollow acetate. Um, this is a Planner Society decal. This is my same little picture that I've always had. This is from the Planner Society kit. This, the paper is from the Planner Society kits. The edging is from the Planner Society kit. The pocket and the post-it are from, you guessed it, the Planner Society kit. And right here, this is um, a list that I have going for Roomba names. We actually just got our first Roomba and I want to name it something. And so far on my list, I have Suck Boy, Dobby, Rosie, Vlad the Inhaler, or Mo from Wally, -E, which is short for a microbe obliterator. <laughs> what do you guys think? Comment down below and tell me what you think we should name our Roomba. So this is the other side of that paper. And these are just some of the little die cuts. I just popped them in the, in the page protector. This vellum is from the kits. Stickers from the kits. Journaling card from the kit. Washi tape from the kit. And this is something that I tried. I don't even remember where I saw it. But I love this clip that also came in the kit and it kept falling out and I was so afraid that I was going to lose it. So I washi taped it in and it has been holding steady ever since. I think that was brilliant. Whoever, whoever did that, brilliant, beautiful, big brain time. This is vellum from Hobby Lobby and a sticker from Hobby Lobby, which I've had in my planner forever. This was the die cut paper from the kit. This is, let me see, this is a folder from the Splendor Collection and all my dividers are from the Splendor Collection on Franklin Covey. Um, this is kind of like my routine section. I'm still working on my morning routine and my afternoon before bed routines, my daily routines, all that kind of stuff. This sticker is from one of the past Planner Society kits. I have stickers in here from both Franklin Covey website and these are from, actually these are all from the Franklin Covey website just some of the old ones that I had and some of the new ones that I purchased. So this is another folder from the site. This is the other side of that acetate from up here from the kit. This is another hollow kind of dashboard acetate that I made and the sticker is from the Planner Society kit as are these glitter edgers. This is from one of those paper pads. I love the full moon. And this has nothing on it yet, but it is a lined journaling card. This is acetate from the kit. Okay, so this is from um, my Prima Planner collection. I found it on Amazon, and I'm not even sure if they still have it, but it's a little pearl clip and I love it and these are this is my beautiful girl page so I have my predator girl and my alien girl as usual they will never leave my planner this is a binder clip that came in the little set that Millie got me and this is from the planner society kit it's supposed to like clip on the front of your TN or you can dangle it from your rings. 
but I did that and it fell off. So I clipped it to the binder clip and it looks super cute and it has not gone anywhere. So that makes me really happy. Vellum from the Planner Society kit. Um, again, all of my dividers are from Franklin Covey. This is my tracking section and this is why I have my mild liner here because I am tracking various things. I do want to make a different bookmark than this. I don't really feel like this goes with my current setup, so I gotta change this out. And then I have my monthly and my word of the year is trust. So I wrote that right here, generally where you're supposed to write your name, but I wrote trust. And here is my January so far. Not much happening, not yet, but we'll get there. And next comes weekly. This is last week's. And I just made some notes over here, my to-do list, just random things throughout the week. And this current week, again, I'm actually this week using this section for a shopping list because I need to get some stuff. A page marker from Franklin Covey. And I do have my daily section in here, but I took out my daily pages. I'm not really feeling like I need them right now. I feel like the space that I have in this two week, you know, this week at a glance, I mean, week on two pages, I feel like this is going to be more than enough for me to plan what I need to plan and keep track of what I need to keep track of. And that just makes my planner a little less bulky, or I should say it gives me room to stuff other things in my planner. So I left the divider in for my daily because I just like how it lines up. So this is my bill section. I'm going to skip that, but these are from Annie Plans printables. I still have my black glitter paper clip from Alicia K on Instagram. And I don't even think she's making clips anymore. She hasn't posted in a very long time. This is from the Planner Society kit and my good vibes section, my moon and stars pages, and then my affirmation pages. This vellum is from the Planner Society, one of the past kits, and I left it in here because I like it in this little setup. And of course I made these again from flowers that Jay got me. This is my personal section that we are flipping right on through. Okay. This section doesn't really have a name, but I'm just making some YouTube kind of lists in here. Um, this paper again from the kits. This is my list section and I'm not positive. I'm going to leave this section in here. I don't really use it. It takes up space. I don't know. I like all the smashed up different shape paper kind of look. I'm, but I'm not sure if I'm going to leave it in here. And I just have some washi, a little washi card in here, a stencil, and my ticket for when we went to Hollywood Studios for our anniversary, and a little zipper pouch, page lifter, list, and I just have a little crown paper clip stuffed in this little pocket as well. And you guys, that's it. That's my 2020 planner setup, deco setup. My planner, my planning system hasn't really changed. Um, I mean a little bit, but here is a, let me fix my pages. 
Here is a top view. I think I need to washi tape this one in too because I don't want to lose it. And probably this one too because I don't want to lose it. But there's a top view and the side view. And bottom, although there's nothing to see down there. You can see that I do have this stuff though. A lot of stuff in here. But thanks for watching, you guys. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. Don't forget that I have a Patreon where you can see my YouTube videos a whole day early. And it, that only requires like a $2 membership to see my videos to or a, a day early so there's that and like the video down below comment if you have anything to say don't forget to subscribe because it really does help and i will talk to you guys in the next one bye